Alright guys, so this is another leg workout. Real quick guys, uh, these are how my legs are looking currently. With the pump, that's after the leg workout. I didn't want to show it to you guys last time, just the fact that, wow, I was fucking hairy. Yeah. Had to trim it down for Comic Con, for those of you who saw those images on uh, Instagram or Facebook. But feel free, if you're a woman or, you know, or a guy and you want to get your legs big to try this workout. Ladies, do not be afraid. Like I said on my last video, if you want to grow some big thighs, you got to put on some heavy weight on your back and just squat the shit out of it. You know, don't be intimidated if you if you can't squat the bar properly right now. All, I, all you have to do is just keep practicing. You know, something I like to do is always warm up with the bar. Just get everything, you know, everything going. Get in the groove. And it, it's a lot, a lot better when you, you know, when you warm up with just the bar. It gives you a nice flexibility. You get a nice pump and you feel uh, better and better with each set. Something I like to do is do a pyramid set. So basically, I increase the weight slowly, always like warming myself up little by little. And I just try to do a little bit more reps each each week. You know, so if last week I did 10 on, you know, with a plate, I'll try to do 12. Just trying to build my, my stamina as far as strength goes. But I don't want to also, I don't also want to tire myself out too much. Just the fact that I have a heavy set coming. Uh, so once I, I'm finished with 185, I like to do two sets of uh, two plates, which is 225. You know, I'm still trying to improve on my, you know, my form. Uh, like I said on my last video again, guys, uh, YouTube, proper form. Just the fact that it takes a while to get it down, you know, just by watching me. You know, you're not really gonna look at the, you know, at the little details that you have to worry about, like opening up your your hips, you know, breaking at the knees, which is bending your knees first and then opening up your hips. Things like that you want to learn before you just, you know, decide to go ahead and squat. It only takes you a couple minutes to learn it. Give it a try. So I do two sets with the, you know, with the two plates. Try to always go for a little bit more reps, and eventually I'll, I'll start adding more weight once I buy some more weight. I don't have that much uh, that much weight with me right now. Uh, so then I go to 275 for the drops of the last one. Here is where I, you know, I put two plates and a 25, and then I'll do a drop set, which I'll remove. The, I'll do the 275 for as many as I can. Take the 25s, do the two plates, take the, the other plate off, and then just rep it out as much as I can. You know, this is a real good. Um, a good a good set just the fact that you're going really really heavy adding some strength training and then you're just you know repping it out uh do it. it's a very very good way to you know build big muscles uh so i do one set of that then since you know i don't have a leg press for those of you that are familiar with a leg press i like to do uh front squats you know substitute this way i hit more of my my quads you know, something a lot of people lack, something I've been lacking for a long time is uh, front quads. You know, right there, the teardrop, that's what I want to hit. That's what I want to grow bigger. And a lot of guys have a lot of trouble. This is a good way to hit it. For those ladies that have, you know, really skinny legs right by the knees, uh, feel free to give this one a try. It will definitely help uh, give them some, some size for you. I uh, do two sets of that. I don't really exaggerate. And once I do that, I... I, I jump into lunges uh real good way got uh girls and guys to get a bigger you know bigger glutes a bigger butt is definitely deep squat lunge don't do it too close because it's just the fact that you're going to be hitting your quads do it a little bit wide and you should feel you know all the weight falling on your glutes you push with your heels and squeeze those glutes up and it's definitely one of the best exercises you could do you know, to get a bigger, rounder butt, and especially with a lot of weight on it, you're definitely going to feel it. Then, after, I do two sets of that, of lunges. Eventually, I'll increase it to two sets. Something you, you don't want to do is just add a lot of sets from the beginning. You want to take your time with it. Once I'm done with that, I go into stiff-legged deadlifts. You know, this one right here is what's going to hit your hamstrings. It's going to kill your hamstrings, you know. My biggest weak area now is my hamstrings. I have no hams. So from the sides, um, it looks just totally flat. And that's something um, that could, you know, I could improve, and this is a good exercise to do that. Uh, take your time with this one, you know, just stretch. 
try to feel the contraction you know if you can handle heavy weight handle heavy weight but work your way up to it you should when you do this exercise you shouldn't feel no back pain at all all you should feel is a nice stretch from your glutes to your hams and try to keep the you know the tension so don't go all the way up notice sometimes I go all the way up and sometimes I, I didn't and it just it just takes a lot of practice and you'll get it down then I just ended up with leg extensions and lying leg curls basic simple but anyways guys that's the video uh, if you need a meal plan just email me later man